What's up? It's your boy Change Agent Cooper. Wanted to do a quick video today about disarming the anger, disarming the tension, disarming. Uh, this all came from a conversation that me and a good friend of mine, uh, Bruce Browder, solid man, trauma and resiliency facilitator, you know what I'm saying, walking testimony. Uh, one of the things that he had challenged me on was that whenever I see another black man, that I disarm the tension and I speak first. What's up, my brother? I hope all is well. Peace, my brother. This is very important. It is very, very important because within my culture, one of the things that does happen is we so used to walk about somebody like this. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like we already heated, like waiting on somebody to say something. You know what I'm saying? But it is very important for us as black men today, considering everything that's going on in the world. This is showtime. It's time for us to, to, to do away with all of this tension we have for each other. It is time out for that. It is time out for that. And shout out to those who are disarming already. And I wanted to give a quick testimony about a gentleman who taught me this method. I had just got out of prison. It was 2011. And I'm walking around at AB Tech Community College. I got my book bag on, but I still got my gangster lean. You know what I'm saying? Whenever between between classes, I'm walking around like I'm on the yard. And I'm still looking at people like, Shh, what that look like? And a, and a guy, a man of God, solid brother named T.J. Jackson, he disarmed my tension. I was walking by, and I was looking at him. He was looking at me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he was like, what's up, my brother? How you? And caught me off guard. I'm like, I'm good. He said, he say, uh, what's your name? I'm T.J. Said, I'm Philip. He said, where you from? You know, we just started the conversation. All from him disarming my tension. And we have to be intentional about doing it. And let me tell you a little bit about what happened ever since then. So from that conversation that I had with my brother TJ, it led to him educating me about strategies of uh, and best practices with, with studying and, and going to school and working. Like he was the reason why I studied always in the library. Like if I had homework, I did it in the library. I learned that from him. Another thing, he was the one that told me about scholarships. Like I was never thinking about scholarships. My whole time going to college before I got out of, you know, before I went to prison, I wasn't serious about studies anyway. I was tripping, but I never even considered scholarships. And he was the one that told me like, like, hey, bro, you should apply, man. You're a black man with a testimony. And you're trying hard, man. They have scholarships for people like you. And I got one. Matter of fact, I got multiple ones. Shout out to uh, Doc Rock Dodrich for the uh, Lead the Way Scholarship for African-American Males that I got years and years ago. But this video is just to tell you, man, it's time for us to disarm that tension. You see a black man, my brother, you know, don't don't ride by mean mugging no more. Interrupt that. And if they mean mugging, you speak first. Speak first, ask questions last. Y'all remember that song by Beanie Siegel? Squeeze first, ask questions last. That's how most of these so-called gangsters pass. That was, no, 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 that was Jay-Z. But anyway, Beanie Siegel was on it. But instead of squeeze first, ask questions last, we're going to speak first, ask questions last. Peace, my brother. I hope you have a good day. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to start no whole long conversation. But don't it, don't let him, don't let him lead the scene mean mugging. It, you disarm it. Peace, brother. Straight like that. Peace, brother. <laughs> it ain't hard. It ain't hard at all. We must be intentional about disarming because it's time out for the, all of this tension. It's time for us to be more together. This is not a, 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 a post that, that is really for allies. This post is really for black people, but I'm posting it on my page so that all my black friends can see it. But Many of y'all already watching our culture with the with the microscope anyway, with the fine tooth comb. So this is what we're dealing with. And this is our strategy. Peace, brother. Ain't no more of that tension. Ain't no more of that hating. Ain't no more of that backbiting. And if you used to, if you done seen somebody that's doing it, call it out on sight. No more of that. No more of the tension amongst us. Black men matter. Bless up.